guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I am going to be doing another tutorial on if statements. I noticed that there was still a little bit of confusion with um, the overall usage of if statements and um, I thought I would try clearing that up again. So uh, basically what an if statement is, is it uh, tests for um, conditions. It makes, uh, if the condition is true, then it will do something. Um, you can get an if statement under logic and loops, and then there's three different types, and they're all customizable to whatever you need for your project. I generally always go with the first one just because I can customize it as I would need to, and the other ones um, I'll explain all the components and how they work. So just grab the basic one here. And if you drag it on to the green dot right here, then um, what this uh, will do is it connects it to the um, thing and then what it's going to do is test where your condition, where the if part is, is your condition, where your condition will go, where the um, do section is, this little knob thing right here, is where the event will take place. So what you want to do is test for something like, is it raining in your um, condition or if there's a certain block there or something like that. And if it is true, then it will uh, do your event. So that's basically the gist of how a basic if statement works. Um, now there's customizations to your if statement that you can actually make uh, so what to do if you need to make more conditions and tests for things so you can actually click on the uh, little gear icon right here and you can basically add um, extra um, conditions or you can just make an else statement I'll cover both of these in just a second so if you grab the uh, else if statement and just drag that down right here what else ifs does is adds an extra condition to test for. So say um, condition one is uh, could not be found or is not true, then it will move on to the next condition down here. And if that's true, then it'll do the event for uh, condition two. So you can add as many of these as you need for your project and that will um, work completely fine. Just a matter of uh, making sure all the conditions are true or not true and that brings us to the else statement which is kind of like a uh, well act like a catch uh, for um, basically if none of the conditions are true to do something regardless so it will always run if uh, either of these conditions are false so um, it's good for if you're developing something to make a uh, text uh, based thing to let you know that it did not run and that will um, basically allow you to uh, know that the condition isn't running properly or if something isn't you know taking per, per type precisely in the actual condition part so you'll be able to tweak it as much as you need in order to um, Kind of figure it out so you can always put help text down here just temporarily and then remove it after if you need to so that brings me to the last thing that i'm going to be covering today and that is uh basically the um one of the issues that i've been noticing on um my channel that uh, people are suggesting to basically do multiple if statements and I just wanted to clear up some things that this will actually do compared to if you were to use an else statement like this so or an else if statement so this will contest for two things but will only run one so if you're say testing for a block in a certain location and say it's grass and it's not grass, maybe it's dirt. So if uh, grass is false and your other condition is testing for dirt, it will replace that block or whatever your event is with uh, if it's, it is it is true for dirt. Um, if it isn't true, then it won't do anything. However, if uh, you were to just do it this way, 
what this is doing is it's testing for things separately. So it will always uh, test for either of these regardless if the first one is true or not. So um, there is times where you might need this. Usually you want to run these separately uh, and won't need um, it to be codependent on a specific project that you're working on. Uh, for that grass tutorial uh, that you, you would probably want to do something like this rather than have it test for um, an extra dirt block down below and because it's always going to be constantly doing that. So there's certain times that you might want to see if this will work but if you can try to make it, try to make it so it's all one thing if it's regarding the same type of uh, condition. So hopefully that helped a little bit more figure out some um, elements of the if statement. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments and I'll do my best to help. Um, also, the forums is a great place to uh, basically ask questions and provide help to other users if um, you know the answer to those questions. Uh, that's for all for today. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video if you want to support me on Patreon. The links are in the description. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.